Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jacenia Poisson. If you're new here, welcome. This is our week to week pregnancy update. So this is week number nine. So let's just dive right into the baby development. For the baby development, we have a green olive. Baby Petrie is a green olive as you can see there. We're at nine weeks and we have 31 weeks to go. This is the end of the embryo period. Would you believe your baby is only an embryo for one more week and is already developing into a fetus? He's now an inch long, the size of a medium green olive, but no martinis please, how cheesy. The head has straightened out and is more fully developed and the ears are continue to grow making baby look more like a human. Plus the toes are visible and all the baby's essentials like the heart, brain, kidneys, liver, lungs have to be have begun to develop. So we're nine weeks pregnant. How many months are we in? We're in our third month of pregnancy. So last week we were in our second month and now we're in our third month. Six more months to go. That is so crazy. You know how fast six months goes? The baby's heartbeat is audible on an ultrasound. I had my ultra, first ultrasound last week. If you're new to this uh, channel in this video, definitely go check that out because I share that with you. You might be feeling so tired. I have definitely felt still tired. Snacking can be happening. My appetite is not fully back. I'm not really working out anymore. Like after the nausea hit, it has been really hard to get motivated and get back into the gym. But the baby science we have is getting stronger. This week's tiny muscles are starting to form, but it will be at least another month or two before you're able to feel those little punches. They tell you like the weirdest pregnancy symptoms, what do fetal hiccups feel like, which is weird because you wouldn't be feeling that right now if you're not feeling the baby kick, and how big is your baby, and you know, just the overall of what the baby is going through. Going next to the next subject, we have body changes. I have nothing different for you guys this week. For symptoms, like I said before, I'm still not feeling 100% fresh air feels really really good and it is fall season at this at the time of week number nine it was fall out it was october so my husband and i we did go to ariasi gorge there's a video on that we went and got some fresh air did some hiking just don't have my normal energy level don't like i feel better because i'm not nauseous but i'm still not a hundred percent there on my energy levels so we went hiking and then we also did some other things this week and we went to the farm farmer's market. Those videos have already been posted because it was within the YouTuber, filming YouTuber for the month of October. So if you want to go check those videos out. But yeah, fresh air is, feels really good for me right now. So I try to get outside as much as I can. Emotions, the emotions that I'm feeling. I'm feeling really, really frustrated. To be honest with you guys, after the first ultrasound that I had, I went home and I cried in bed. And the reason was because I do have a history of PMDD disorder, which is PMS for two weeks out of a month, but it's like severe PMS. It's compared to manic disorder in the DSM-5. Basically, just mental health stuff if you don't know what that, what PMDD is. When I spoke to the doctor, how I really, you know, don't want a male doctor, it really is not an option because there's only three doctors here and it's just the military base rules and how it goes down living on a military base overseas. So with that being said, I was really upset. I was crying and I just felt really frustrated. I felt like I wasn't heard. Like I I was heard but at the same time I necessarily didn't feel heard even when I was talking to the doctor before we did the ultrasound I teared up you know talking to her like saying about my history and just that I have you know a history of PMDD I haven't had it in two years with trauma and stuff like that it can relapse it could relapse overall just with pregnancy that is the DL on that uh, yeah it's just something that I have to process and hopefully eventually change my perspective. I do feel that I'm more bitter right now and very resistant towards everything that has to do with the military. But that's just me being honest with you guys and how I'm truly feeling. Okay, last but not least, let's go into the recent purchases. I ordered this pregnancy day by day book, which is by Paula Amato and Maggie Balot. So this day by day book tells you something each day of your pregnancy. I think it's super, super cool. You definitely would have to, I mean, I know it's just one page a day, so you would think that it was easy to read it, but you would definitely 
definitely have to put like an alarm or something or put this by your nightstand. I do have this by my nightstand so that you don't miss a page since it is a day by day thing. But this is really a cool way to connect with yourself and the baby and just learning about your body and what's going on. So I highly suggest getting this book. I'll leave the link down below for that. And we are doing the baby announcement. We're planning to announce on week number 10. So that video obviously has already been posted, but I'll show you guys what we were planning to do. Halloween theme since it is around Halloween. I got this Ryan and Rose teether for the picture. I got these for my animals. It says, guess what mom's pregnant. I got one in pink and one in blue because I have a cat who's a boy and then a dog who is a girl, Shiva and Fluffy. Fluffy's my cat and Shiva is my dog. They're gonna wear those and be part of the baby announcement picture as well. that is everything that I have for you for week number nine. Stay tuned for week number 10. Hit that like button if you like this style of video and as well subscribe to my channel to keep up with me weekly and I'll see you guys in my next video.